Hello friends, welcome to Rirava's Kitchen. Today's recipe is raw banana and kala channa kutte. It is a semi-dry dish which you can enjoy with rice or even you can have with roti. Friends, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to Rirava's Kitchen and click on the bell icon for more updates. Let us see what all ingredients we need to make raw banana kala channa kutte. Here we are going to take two raw bananas. I am going to take this size of raw banana. So I will peel this and cut it into cubes. So two of this and half cup of boiled chana. I had already cut the raw banana and soaked it in water so that it doesn't become black. So I have cut it in this shape, small size in cubes. Now we will heat a pan. To this pan we will add this raw banana. This is a very healthy dish and we need very little oil for this. So do try this dish and share with me your feedback. To this banana we will add some water for the banana to cook. Add little turmeric powder and I have taken around 20 pieces of black pepper, whole pepper. We will crush it and add to this. So you can take around 20 to 25 pieces of black pepper, crush it a little and then add to it. I'll just crush it and get it. Now here you can see I have crushed the pepper a little like this and we will add to this boiling banana. Add a little salt. Just a little. We will adjust the salt later. Close the lid and then let it cook till the bananas become soft. So while the bananas are cooking now we will make a coconut paste for this. So for that in the mixer jar add 1 fourth cup of grated coconut. So I will add 1 fourth cup of grated coconut. 2 to 3 green chilies as per your taste. And 1 fourth teaspoon of cumin that is jeera. Add a little water to this and make a fine paste. Now while our bananas are cooking we will make a paste and come back. Our paste is ready. So now let us check our bananas. Just open and see. Our bananas are done well. So it took about uh, 8 minutes for the bananas to cook. Now to this we are going to add the boiled black chana. Give this a nice mix. Just mash one or two bananas a little. Just one or two pieces. To this we will add the coconut paste. Coconut green chilli paste. Now combine all these well. You can adjust the salt at this stage. So cover it and let it cook for 2 minutes. So that the kala chana and the raw banana all combine together well. Let this cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. Let us just check. <clears throat> it's almost done. Everything is combined well. Now we will keep this aside and we are going to temper it. So for tempering, we will take a tempering pan or you can take a small pan. To this add little oil. So since we are adding coconut, I am going to add little coconut oil to this. If you want, you can add little normal oil also. Just a little of coconut oil. Our oil is hot. So here I am adding half teaspoon of mustard seed. Once the mustard seed crackles, we will add 1 4 teaspoon of white turmeric dal. Once the dal turns a little brown in color, just light brown, add few curry leaves. Red chilli, I have cut one red chilli into small pieces, we will add this. Just give a mix and 2 tablespoon of grated coconut. So we will add this 2 tablespoon of grated coconut to this. Now give all these a nice mix and let the coconut turn a little light red in color. This is grated coconut, fresh coconut. I have taken grated fresh coconut. Let the color change a little. Now you can see the color has started changing and nice aroma. I am getting a nice aroma also. See the color has started changing. So now this we will add to our ready raw banana and kala chana kutu. This goes very well with rice and also you can have with chapati. 
as a side dish. Tempering is ready. Switch off the gas and add to our prepared kurta. So is it this simple and easy to make? This kurta is very healthy with very little oil and all the goodness of raw banana, kala chana and coconut together combined gives this a very yummy taste. Do try this recipe. Share with me your feedback. Also do not forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so and click on the bell icon so that you can get updates whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching Rirava's Kitchen. Stay safe. Bye-bye.